Okay, so we say goodbye to individual and family offices track and say hello to the foundations and philanthropic institutional institutions track. You say goodbye and I say hello. Hello, hello. Well, I had to sing, you know, it's a must. Remember, we have a hashtag F121 where you can share any comments, suggestions and constructive criticism important to insist on the constructive aspect about this year's edition so we can bring you better content every year. You can also use the chat feature in the platform, remember. And we also have the polls, so get to know, so we can get to know you better. So don't forget the polls. Two seconds, remember? Okay, now that you're ready, we start this Foundations and Philanthropic Institutions track with a keynote by Carolina Suarez, CEO of Latin Impacto. Based on her experience working with philanthropic organizations interested in impact investing, she will go through the more common reasons and options for mission-driven entities to invest for a positive impact. So, welcome, Carolina. Thank you. Good morning, Latin America, and good afternoon for ones are located in Europe. It is a pleasure for me to be part of the FI21 Forum. Thanks to Margarita Albors and all the team from Social Nest for this invitation. Please let me start sharing what Latinpacto is. Latinpacto is a community of capital providers committed to achieving solutions with greater social and environmental impact in Latin America and the Caribbean. Today, we have more than 100 members. We bring together individuals and organizations, all of them capital providers from any sector investing in Latin America and the Caribbean who are interested to deploy in a more strategic way the resources, financial and non-financial, for a greater social and environmental impact. We are glad that Social Nest Foundation is one of our members. Latin Pacto is part of a family of networks in Europe, Asia and Africa, EVPA. AVPN and AVPA are Latin Pacto's sister networks in those regions. These networks jointly comprise more than 1,300 members and have over 70 years developing an extensive body of knowledge in social investment. The four regional organizations have a deep relationship with prominent investors in the United States and Canada. At that impact, we want to extract investments along the continuum of capital, providing new models of investing and improving more strategic use of its resources aimed at generating greater social and environmental impact and different risk profiles. We built a bridge between two non-opposing but rather complementary worlds. Traditional philanthropy, which would like to include new stakeholders tools and models to achieve social and environmental solutions with a greater impact, and also impact investors, those wanting to invest an environmental impact initiative without giving a financial returns. Now, let's focus on this session. Why and how Foundation, as a philanthropic organization, can advance in its mission to improve the creation of impact? Let's have some details and some data. As of October 2020, before the pandemic, there was an annual gap of 2.5 trillion US dollars to meet the SDGs. One trillion extra was added for the gap created after the COVID-19, and it could increase up to four to trillion US dollars. The billion to trillions campaign led by the UN points out that closing this gap requires not only more resources, but also invite us to think how this capital will be raised and deployed. For this reason, now more than ever, we need to strengthen collaboration and encourage the use of innovative financial mechanisms by different actors. Here, the role of foundations or second tier foundations, as they are called in Latin America, play a fundamental role in generating more significant social and environmental impact. Foundations have unique assets, which differentiate them from other actors in the ecosystem and therefore make them more attractive. First, they have patient capital and flexibility 
that allows them to finance early stage social purpose organizations, which may not generate financial returns, but do give enormous returns to society. Second, thanks to this patient and flexible capital, they take risks that the public sector cannot assume due to its fiduciary obligations to protect public assets. Foundations can also take risks that the private sector is not willing to take since they must ensure financial returns. In line with above, foundations are motivated by the cost and can innovate and invest in sectors and markets that other actors are unwilling to enter. By being flexible and patient, foundations have the opportunity to develop financial instruments that go beyond donations such as result-based financing. We must understand that a foundation is not synonymous for donation, but rather is an agent that generates changes and transformations towards a more significant social and environmental impact. Foundations and endowments play a significant role. They can be used to achieve a more relevant impact and play a fundamental role, as I mentioned before. In the UK, a new charities act was passed in 2016, making it clear that the obligation of trustees of foundation is not just to make money, but to achieve good economic, social, and environmental performance. This law defines social investments and give charities the power to make those investments. The law states that you must A, directly promote the purpose of the charity and a, B, achieve a financial return for the charity. An incorporated charity and the tr charity trustees have the power to make social investments. On the other hand, in Brazil, the use of endowments was regulated in January 2019. The funds can support institutions related to education and science. The text defines the legal and governance structure of endowment funds, clarifying the constitution process and providing more security for donors. Equity capital cannot be used to defray, for example, eventual labor lawsuits or losses due to institutional mismanagement. Now, two concrete cases of success of the use of endowment. First, the Ford Foundation. In April 2017, its Board of Directors approved 1 billion US dollars mission-related investment allocation from its 12 billion endowment, the most significant endowment commitment to date. 30 million of that endowment was invested in helping solve the US housing crisis invested in a community improvement development bond and financing for affordable and green home construction. This approach was so successful that FOR is doing the same for financial services for vulnerable populations. This example has inspired other foundations to follow on how to solve systematic social and environmental problems. On the other hand, in Portugal, the Caluste Gulbeckian Foundation, a member of our sister network in Europe, EVPA, is among the ones that, that are leading this way in Europe. The foundation invested from its endowment 45 million euros into the Mays Mostar Seed Social Entrepreneurship Fund, which aims to scale early stage technology to solve significant problems. The Mays Fund invests in the startups that address issues such as food waste, education, and the social integration of migrants and refugees. These examples demonstrate the power of using endowments to maximize impact. When foundations have trillions of assets but do not recognize or activate all of the resources, they fell short. So the invitation today is to make the use of the resources and take advantage of the full potential of all their assets. In addition to the financial resources that foundations have, providing non-financial support is key and critical in order to ensure a sustainable impact. Non-financial support is the process of providing support services 
to a social purpose organization to maximize its social impact, increase its financial sustainability, or strengthen its organizational resilience. Foundations at the time of generating impact not only study the financial resources that they are going to deliver to the entity, but also make a more in-depth evaluation during the due diligence process that will allow them to develop the non-financial support plan, which includes the baseline, the goals, milestones, and expected results for the social purpose organizations. The forms in which organizations can provide non-financial support can range from occupying a place on the board of directors of the social purpose organizations, improving impact and management system, building organization capacity, and providing access to networks, among others. All these practices must be supported by impact management good practice. We have already seen how different actors invest many resources. When it comes to seeing the transformation, they fail short because they still do not understand the change that is being achieved. As defined by EVPA, impact measurement and management practices measures and monitors the change created by an organization, activities, and uses this information or data to refine activities to increase positive outcomes and reduce potentially negative results. Measurement should be based on measuring and managing the impact of a specific investment and how the investor themselves contribute to that impact. For this, it is crucial to start by establishing impact objectives. During the structuring of the agreement, investors define the products, results, and impact, and also best indicators that can show social purpose organizations' progress, so that finally, at the end of the integration period, the generated impact can be verified and assessed. All this in terms of a foundation, but now, what if we multiply these tangible and intangible assets by strengthening more alliances and collaborations between foundations without adopt. The collaboration and the creation of common funds will increase this impact that a single foundation could create. We can mention several examples. The MacArthur Foundation launched the C3 initiative in 2019 to foster impact investment, totaling up to 150 million to support funds and intermediaries that demonstrate catalytic capital used across industries and geographies. C2 investments set the stage for other investors, both impact-oriented and conventional, to participate and drive additional growth. The Rockefeller Foundation and the Omnidia Network joined the initiative as a strategic partners in C3, each providing a portion of the funding. For its part, in Brazil, a group of foundations created in 2016 created foundations and impact institutes as a laboratory where organizations could invest for the first time in impact businesses. Their initial challenge was to test the investment instruments and the relevance to the third sector. The initiative was structured in two clear objectives. The first and central to learn how a foundation or institute, as they call it in Brazil, can make investments in impact businesses. The second, to generate knowledge on the subject of the participant and the sector as a whole. The initial 19 members pledged to invest 10,000 US dollars each. The total amount was divided in two, three large parts, plus a fourth to cover the expense of the process. Each of the three amounts was invested using a different instrument, and each foundation could decide in which investment it wanted to participate. The instruments defined the test were loan guarantee, loan, and participation in credit equity. That impact documented this case a study on its landscape study launched on February 2021. Welcome to read it, and you can find the case in this 
in our webpage, ecosystema.latimpacto.org. Based on this success story with Fabio Devani, one of the FIB promoters shared with Social Value Foundation in Spain, thanks to our one of our first connection from Latin Pacto in 2019, the Impact Foundation's fund was structured in Spain. The initiative is promoted by the Open Value Foundation and it is that foundation with the collaboration of Ship to Be Foundation, whose purpose is to extract employees with high social impact through venture philanthropy and impact investment. This program, which is now in the second edition, seeks to offer participants theoretical and practical knowledge and the necessary support to create a fund of foundations in a shared way that invests, promotes, and develops initiatives with a high social impact, extracting the capacities and connecting the entities involved. The first edition of the program culminated in the constitution of an investment vehicle created jointly by the participating foundation and the launch of the first call of the Impact Foundations Fund to finance companies and projects aimed at supporting vulnerable groups at the risk of exclusion in Spain. This is just three examples of how we see that today the call to foundations to generate an impact and generate effective transformation. We are all called to change and I thank again the Social Nest Foundation for generating this space for reflection and lead to action where foundations create more impact with the use of available results. From Latin Pacto, we offer all our potential to continue advancing on this path, facilitating knowledge and valuable connection that will allow all our community to grow in the more strategic deployment of resources to generate more significant and environmental impact. Thank you very much. It has been a pleasure to be with you. Thanks to Carolina Suarez from Latin Pacto. I'll just keep one word for all that she's uh, mentioned. It's collaboration.